Ah yes, the good old island. The slime farm, the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm, concrete exploder 3000, FK fish farm and finally we have home sweet home, the uh, the cave. I could do with a little bit of an upgrade, I'm gonna admit, with the home sweet home part here. Um, maybe not so sweet anymore. But anyways, welcome back to Ramblecraft. It has been a while since I've been on here. I just needed a little bit of a break, but we are back now here on the island. And I think that there's no better way to start off this episode and the return, but by cleaning up. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a late spring cleaning, I think. And also in the last episode, we made this right here which is going to be our silo sorting system for all our farms on the island. We may need more than this, but so far this will do. Um, but we haven't really done anything other than add the chests and the harbor. So I also want to complete that today. I want to finish up the item sorting system so that we can actually start using this thing. I was thinking of living in this thing, but I have changed my mind. So we have a cave in here, right? I was thinking, what if we extend the automated fishing farm here and pull it over and basically make a structure right here a small home it's going to be a little bit of a small home where we can place our armor stands our valuables our bed shulker boxes that we use a lot stuff like that that we can kind of keep away from that which is kind of more like business slash industrial slash farm related. I guess it does look like a silo as well, so I guess that makes sense. I also want to do two other things, or start two other projects in a way. One being I finally want to change this nether tunnel. It, well, I don't think inspired is the right word, but motivated to change it more than ever because Endavar, as usual, have been hard at work. Um... Um... Yeah, okay, this is even more insane than I was last year. Nope, nope, I quit. <laughs> we have three shops in total. We have Deathericious over here, then we have Slime Time, and then we also have the Firework Rocket shop. Now, these shops in general don't sell much. Uh, wait, what? What's this? Tip. Je eh? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I've sold. <laughs> We have 16 diamond in here. Um, it's not that they don't sell, but I just think that it would be best tip jar. I mean, I assume... Thanks! <laughs> Appreciate it, wow. I did not expect that. Um, but anyways, what I have been thinking is instead of me taking up three major plots here with only a couple chests in each building, why not say remove all these and make one big building that maybe takes up two plots, kind of like Endavar has his Imperial... Wait, not Imperial. Wait, hold on. What is this called? Endavar's Emporium, right. But like he has one place to have multiple things. I think I should do the same kind and keep the style of like my base with the white and gray and cyan concrete. Okay, that's messy. I also need to sort out my inventory. Uh, have we made anything? Oh, we have actually. Wow. Okay, we have made a lot more uh, diamonds than I had anticipated. I did not... E <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Are uh, you serious? Focus, thank you. Appreciate it. Now with the introduction all out of the way and the shops have been looted, let's now write a to-do list for this episode. All right, I have been typing a to-do list for this episode. So let's take a look at it. So episode 14, which is this episode, of course, we got to repair my tools. We got to organize the inventory that is including in the chest and shulker boxes. We got to move the portal and basically connect it to the hub. We got to finish the silo sorting redstone system. That shouldn't be too hard either. Uh, layout of new home, which is basically, uh, I want to lay out like with scaffolding and whatnot, like how big I want this to be. Uh, the build itself and also how I want to organize that build and layout for new shop basically just the scaffolding bordering up just preparing for taking down the old shops and building something new why don't we start from the top let's repair the tools and that is actually something that I want to do as well like the stronghold is somewhere over here on the ground I can't even see it for the shaders like there I want to have a better means of me 
being able to go down there other than having to go through the water all the time. Now, as repairing tools and organizing inventories is a little bit boring, let's just skip forward a little bit. All right, I have been doing some stuff off camera. I have been repairing my tools. As you can see, they are all fully repaired and I have put mending on the Trident. So now the Trident has mending, which feels really, really good. Like I, I have never used a Trident before, really. And seeing that, that it just comes back to me is absolutely cool. So I've done that and I have also organized my inventory. I have organized my inventory here, but not only that, I have also organized my ender chest. I've organized my ender chest right here. As you can see, this, I will be needing it very soon. Um, I actually need to rename this thing. The hit keep her. Yeah, sounds about right. So over here to the left, you can see we have a valuables uh, shulker box, we have redstone and lapis, we have tools and equipment, we have food, and we have the red dusty boxes by redstone box. This basically has a ton of redstone and lapis lazuli in it. Um, basically what I, have, what I have done is I have completely emptied out this chest right here, which used to contain my valuables such as iron and emeralds and whatnot. So I've done that, and I think the next thing that we're going to do is actually uh, lay out for the new home which is actually what I just talked about. I want to lay it out. My plan here is since this is kind of a little bit of a hill and I'm living inside of it, I kind of want to extend this right here out covering this hill basically. So I kind of want to just lay it out right here. If we go, um, can I not? Okay, so I need to first, okay, these are right. Something like that. And then I can place right here. Right. Can't place there. Then I need to place another one. Okay. So one, two. I think they can go up like five, right? Through. How do you place these? <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Okay, six, seven. And it just falls down. I like that it actually just falls down. That's cool. Yeah, something like this, but I am act I actually, hmm. My door is right here, so it actually needs to go out a little bit further. Right, so that lines up pretty well with that door. Then I just need to basically completely like move in that direction. So I need to take into consideration that I am going all the way over here. Uh, I want to and capture the whole thing and I know for a fact that this fish farm is definitely not taking this in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, twenty. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely work with this. This is, I think this is going to be really cool when it's done. And then we do it over here as well. So one, two, and this should line up perfectly. That is what I like to see. All right, I have pretty much made an entire square around the place that I currently live. Perfect, there we go. Layout of new home complete. Sweet, very, very good. Now, after a painful segment of me not knowing how on earth to properly place scaffoldings, let's now go ahead and place even more scaffoldings. Oh, wait, never mind. We're relocating the portal first, which I've never done, by the way. I guess now that we're in the process of doing that, I guess I should head on over to the shopping district, actually, and basically cut off my shops. <laughs> They're gonna have to close down for a little bit um, while I set up the new one. Actually, before we do that, I guess we should move the portal. I guess that would make sense. Um, I am not used at all to like moving portals and whatnot. So this could go terribly wrong. All right, so my portal is here, right? I need it to actually be a little bit further up. If we go over here, hello fellas, I need my portal to be on this very Y level right here, which is Y level 63. I think I could just break my portal and move it up and it should potentially synchronize with my portal back home. We're gonna try. <laughs> 
we're gonna try. This this could be very, very bad. I don't know what's going to happen. I just hope it's actually going to work. Okay, I'm currently at Y level 36. I need to go all the way up to Y level 63. Wait a minute. This is where I came up. Wait, has end of our already made this tunnel? No way. No way he's done that. <laughs> It just synchronizes, I think it synchronizes up perf perfectly? I think, maybe? Like, I'm on the right Y level to where my stair was, but I'm pretty sure... I see something. No actual way. No actual way. That's the old path. This is the new one. No way. <laughs> No way he has actually done that. End of our, you absolute madman. All right, well, that fits in perfectly. I have no idea how I'm actually supposed to link this up. All right, how is it intended to be? Okay, something like this. Right, so you can just basically hook it up like this. I should be able to do that. Yeah, I think I can do that. It's a little bit of a junction very close to the thing, but um, yeah, that's fine. This is probably fine, okay. Now, the question is, am I actually able to place the portal <laughs> and have it sync up with the one in the overworld? That's the question. Right? Well, I guess there's only one way of finding out, isn't there? And I didn't bring a flint and steel, nor did I bring my ender chest. D did I say anything about me just organizing my inventory? Um, yeah, I don't have the ender chest that I'm supposed to have in my inventory. This is kind of... Mildly satisfying, actually. Um, very satisfying, in fact. I like this. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. Is this actually going to work? It did. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> Perfect. And if I go through, I should land at that portal, hopefully, maybe, potentially. Yes, perfect. Sweet. All right, that is exactly what I wanted. All right, portal has been moved. The next step is, of course, to um, to change the, the what's it called, the, um, make the tunnel and stuff look nice. But um, for now, uh, move portal, connect to hub. Complete. Thanks to Antifa for making that tunnel already, otherwise I would have to dig all that. With that done, now let's go and place even more scaffoldings with me not knowing how to do it properly. We have another riches, we have slime time, and we have the fireworks shop, which is actually unnamed. But yes, I want to close down all these three shops right here, and I basically want to actually remove that plot. I don't actually need it anymore. Because what I'm then going to do is I'm going to combine these two plots and make one big shop for everything. I'm going to tear it all down and I'm going to build something new. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go... How high should I go with this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, seven sounds good. And then we continue. I don't know actually how far we can continue. That's fine. Something like this. <laughs> Uh, this is going to look interesting. This pillar literally f landed right in the center of the doorway. That could not have been more perfect. So now I just gotta go in that direction and that over. I'm not gonna cover the backside. I don't even think I have enough scaffolding for that. Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna set up some signs. And yeah, I think this is actually going to look kind of cool. I almost made it all the way around. I actually almost made it all the way around. Wait, did I go one out too much? Uh, I think I went out one too much. Uh, whoops. Alright, I think I'm actually going to keep it there. I'm just gonna not put anything there. But we have on the sides now and on the front. Alright, you know what? I'm actually quite happy with that. Look at this. <laughs> All three of my plots have just been scaffolded up. And we have these right here. We are renovating. Thanks for your patience. Hopefully I spelled all that right. All right, yeah. Uh, we'll be working on that hopefully in the next episode. Um, but for now, that's that done. Um, that's going to probably get a few looks for people passing through. <laughs> all right, layout for new shop. That has been done. Now what we got to do 
is we gotta finish the silo sorting system and then we gotta set up the chest sorting at the new base um basically the chest for like blocks and whatnot and then we gotta move all the items from the old base to the new place um yeah it's gonna be good so let's get to that all right it is time to begin this right here before we can connect make sure it's clear before we can connect that right there which we will i need to set up the very first thing and that is actually the row where the the items will actually flow across all the hoppers and then be able to go into them did that even make sense all right i think i have everything i need a bunch of blocks dust hoppers repeaters and comparators I think I should be able to do this. Now I just gotta actually land. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we have, let's start over here actually. We have this one right here. What I will need to do is I need to place a block there and then one there. And then I will need to do that. And then I actually need to go ahead and do that for every single one of these chests the way the reason why we're putting the hopper like that is because we're going to put some items in here which is basically going to sort out what is going to go into this chest row right here i'm making it here on the server a little bit different than what i did my in my original thoughts and design um but i think i can convert it to what i have going on here Next, I gotta make sure that the water going here isn't actually going to float out anywhere we don't want it to be. So I'm actually going to place some slabs right here going across. Boom. Now we can have the water running in there perfectly. The next thing we then need to do is basically how we're actually going to power these lamps. And this could get very interesting and also quite complicated. <laughs> <laughs> because again, I am doing this a little bit differently. I think what I need is you here. Um, oh no. Oh no. After a bunch of redstone placing and me not being online for a little bit, I come down to something interesting. What is this? What 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 is What is this? Who? What? Where? What? I fell down your hole. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's um that's Aelin, um or who has changed the name to British Weirdo. Um yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think um <laughs> I think I think yeah I need to install that elevator ASAP. Anyways guys, um yeah, I have no idea how I'm actually going to edit this because I recorded a bunch, but I have no idea how much of it I'm gonna keep in. Because um yeah, uh it got messy. As you can see, this has changed quite a bit. So I have taken out every actually let me start in here. Firstly, I have added a floor. Very cool. And then I have added all of this. So I think I'm actually going to take away a lot of the recording that I did. And I'm just going to explain it as fast as I can now. So let me explain. Up there, that, that, that's a water. That's a water stuff. It goes over. It has hoppers right here. So when the items go over, it's going to pick up that specific item. See, it's gunpowder. And it's going to send it down through the hopper system into the chest at the bottom. And then it's going to fill up as it goes. This redstone right here powers these redstone lamps. So when this chest is full, this redstone lamp will be lit up. When this chest is full, this will be lit up. I was originally planning on having lanterns on this whole row right here. Um, but guess what? I, I wasn't smart. So the original tutorial that I followed for this had chests put like this. Lamp, lamp, chest, 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 lamp, chest, chest, lamp. Basically like that. 
But I thought I was smart and I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them this way instead so they're facing this way. And uh, guess what? The redstone mechanic to light up the lamp um, that I followed the tutorial for, it didn't work. So I had to make my own. Uh, kind of complicated, but it's actually quite compact. And you know what? For what it's worth, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy with it. Now, here's the other redstone bit. This right here I followed the tutorial for, but this right here, up here, behind this, behind that actually, there's another hopper. And this system right here, there's a redstone torch with a comparator on top that then sends out the signal, shuts off this torch right here, which based this, this whole thing basically allows me to do the item sorting. So let me show you actually. All right, so let's say this is sugarcane, right? So I have dirt here specifically named, so we can't have normal dirt here either. This is basically the main thing of the filter, making it so that nothing else is able to play, get placed in this slot and mess up the system. So we place three dirts here and then a wooden shovel, very specifically a wooden shovel, and uh, I said sugarcane, right? Sugarcane. So now, whenever another sugarcane gets put in here, it gets sent down into the system, into this chest right here. Look at that, that's so cool. So that is basically how that now works. And I then need to put this sugarcane right there. So now this silo is dedicated for sugarcane and all sugarcane that goes in that water system up here will land right here, boom. Just need one for bone now, and we have these silos set up right here. Now here comes the next tricky part. This chest right here needs to get linked up to that water elevator right there. I'm thinking making the dispenser system right there and then adding the water slide going all the way around like so. I think that is going to be the best way around this. I'm actually going to stop you right there and I'm gonna say that we're gonna get right back to that, but first we have a little bit of a mission. The British Widow, who is currently online, he has joined just recently, there's a P. And I am about, uh, he, he settled down actually, not too far away from me. He saw that I was lonely up here and he decided to settle down pretty close, which I am quite thankful for. And the neighbor <coughs> as I am, I thought I would go ahead and, um, yeah, make him make him a pickaxe because <laughs> he originally made a diamond pickaxe with the diamonds he had. He even had Fortune 3 on it and then he died with it. And uh, now he's just mining with normal iron pickaxes. So I think it is only right that me as a neighbor that I give him a welcoming biff. Welcoming biff? Welcoming gift. And what other way to do that than to give him a brand spanking new on breaking 3 efficiency 4 Fortune 3 pickaxe, but first I'm gonna need some levels. All right, I have assembled my care package, I think. Diamond pickaxe, unbreaking three, efficiency four, fortune three, an enderman's head, and three ender pearls. And I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to throw in a shulk box in the mix, because why not? All right, let's pack it up. Purple shulk box, pickaxe, enderman's head, 16 ender pearls because why not? And his base should be literally just in this direction. Aha! I see something. I see something. I see a little bit of a a farm over there. That's cool. And this appears to be his place. Oh, he take the dog. Beautiful. And he's probably down there somewhere. Okay, he's he's he. He got some good stuff, okay. Let's go down and see if we can find him. He is proving hard to find. There he is. <laughs> he was behind me. <laughs> oh boy. I just, uh, I found four diamonds after going Yay. for four iron picks. <laughs> well, I, uh, I have something for you. Do you? That's yours. Bruh. That that's a that's a that's a gift for joining the server and also a gift Thank for you. being my neighbor and uh, also I felt <laughs> bad that you lost that so uh, I know the pain. Yeah, it didn't even have <laughs> unbreaking. I went through right. I enchanted yeah. a diamond pickaxe four times. Got un uh, got unbreaking just unbreaking three times. And then got for <laughs> and then got fortune two once, and then eventually wow. got efficiency four and fortune three on a pick and combined them. Nice. And then yeah. It was like, yeah. so, do you know, just over there, uh -huh. where there's like, there's two smaller islands away from your base. 
Yeah. There was a shipwreck and there was an axolotl. Oh. So I, I went to oh. go get an axolotl. I had a little yellow cute axolotl and I was on mm. my way back on a boat and then a baby drowned with a trident, broke my boat and killed me. Lovely. And then I couldn't find my stuff, so I lost everything. Yeah, thank you sucks. for the Enderman head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I thought it it it, it matched. By the way, if uh, if you didn't know, the choker box is uh, part of the gift as well. Oh, useful oh, isn't fun. it? Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, thank you. That'd be very useful. I'll I'll take that mining with me. Yes. So I can put my stuff in there. I deliberately made well it purple. Redstone. I made it purple for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, have thank have fun much. mining and uh, be careful of lava yeah. and uh, creepers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've not actually run into any mobs. It's just uh, lava mostly. I've noticed yeah. there's a lot more pockets of lava lower down. Yeah. yeah so thank you very much. That's going to be very, very handy. You are very welcome. With the welcome gift delivered, we can now get back to that redstone stuff. All right. More off camera work because it has been. Um, I don't know what the wording is. Tedious? It, it, it's been interesting. Um, anyways, I have done progress. So we have the chest up here, right? I now need to make the system. Oh, hello. I now need to make the system that actually dispenses the items from this chest into the water system right here. So that is what I need to make next. All right, like so, because then what I need to do is I need to add a redstone comparator, need to place a block and a redstone dust into another block like so. Remove this. Place that, have a repeater here, set on two ticks, there we go. And then remove this, place a block, and then redstone and redstone. And then I need basically a hopper, basically emptying items from this into this. Now, if a, we have something in here, it's going to detect it and set it out, but most importantly, if we do this, it's actually going to dispense it slow, fast, slower, or slower, slower. <laughs> you get the point. Um, into the water system. So if I place a water bucket right here, it's going to go down here. And then if we place a sign here and remove this block and place packed ice, which I bought from Endawar, Endawar, Endawar actually. Lead this over here. I think actually I'm going to hold the water there. Re okay, that almost broke my redstone. I should be able to, because the source block is right here. I think I should be good though. Actually, yeah, I think I should be good to break this, place a sign right there, and then put ice right there. And I think that honestly should do it. And let me actually test this fully. I'm going to put in 16 stacks of a stack of 16 arrows and i need to place blocks on top of here and now we should technically have 16 arrows in this chest yes perfect <laughs> it actually works <laughs> i think it's safe to say that i was quite excited at that moment but then i discovered something out back oh no oh no oh no it actually did remove some of the redstone here oh dear Oh no, more of the wrist one has been broken. No! Okay. Well, it's not the end of the world. It's actually not it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh no, over here, over here as well. Okay, maybe it is that bad. If you want to know a trick, if you want to get into small areas like this, you can actually place a trapdoor like so, and then you get into this crawling formation, which can be quite handy getting to places like this. Alright, redstone issue has been fixed. Uh, now what I need to do is pretty much just hook up the, the, the chest at the top there. So anything that gets in this water tube gets put into this chest, then this chest, then this chest, and then in here and what get what? Catch an oxal... Woo! So yeah, everything goes in here and then ends up into this proper. I, I think guys, we're done here. So obviously the idea is that every farm gets connected with a pipe that then ends up in that big pipe over there that then leads down into the storage area. But I'm going to just go ahead and take all of this cane, as much cane as I can have in my inventory right now. So now, basically, I should be able to drop that, all of this, in fact, like so, 
it should get picked up by the harpers. Especially when there's water and whatnot. Like all of these harpers, I should be able to keep putting it like that. And it keeps clicking, that's a good sign. And if we could then go down here into this chest, they're lighting up. Not sure why that lights up. Actually, that's a very good question. Why does that light up? For some reason, this block gets powered? How does this block get powered? I know I have to fix it. Basically replace that with a with a repeater. But how does that Okay. I'm not gonna question it. Sometimes redstone it's it's just weird. But I think I can fix it with just placing repeaters instead of that. That should fix it. Yep. Now that lamp no longer turns on. But redstone problem aside, this is now working. And things are being sorted and things are being put into the chest. I might further develop this because I do know, for, for example, a hover minecart is super fast. So I may figure out a way of maybe using those so that things doesn't pile up at the top there as much. I have no idea how I would do it, but yeah, that using those would probably be a good idea if I can. I wanna place water. I have three water buckets on me. Totally not a coincidence. I wanna place water in this thing. I wanna see the water flow inside of this tube. So if I place water here, here, and here, and then go ahead and... Oh wait, I can't... Wait... Oh, I thought it would just generate a infinite... Okay. That, that's fine. Uh, let me go get a bunch of water, I guess. And... Boom. Sweet. That is the water completely done. Now, the way I have done it, I may need to change that. Anything that is not in a filter. Well, currently anything that is not in the filter will just get in the next empty slot. But I do ha I have placed lava at the end of this uh, this thing, but I may need to just place a bunch of chests just to like make sure if I drop my pickaxe or something that it doesn't get tossed in the lava. That's just an overflow security measure so that when it gets full of sugarcane, for example, reaches the top, then it won't just sit at the end. It actually just gets destroyed. But guys, that, phew. That right there is, um, that's this chest sorting system at the new base. I will definitely have to come back in here, make this look pretty with a bit of a wall. That would be extremely bad. Creeper spawnings aside, end of our dropped off a welcome gift to British Weirdo, and I just thought you should see basically what sums up end of our. Okay, okay, this sums up end of our in, in a nutshell, right? Welcome to my Ramblecraft, end of our. Right? This is Endavar's gift. Look at it. Not only that. Look at this. Mending Diamond Pickaxe. Silk Touch. Unbreaking. Mending. Fortune. Food. Blocks of Iron. Elytra. And let's see what he calls it. Random junk. I needed the space for iron blocks. <laughs> Uh, that sums up end of our in a nutshell. <laughs> After taking a look at what is clearly junk, like duh, I got a little bit of a visit. Hi. Uh, Hi. So I'm in your base. I, I, I may have done something to your base. What have you done? I was, I, I was going to originally just leave it and let you find it, but I figured because you were coming on. I I'll just show you instead. Um... Oh no. oh no, I I don't <laughs> I don't like what I see. I do not like what I see here. What what uh, my storage room <laughs> but, but how did you even get this many chickens? <laughs> uh I spent too much time oh god my words. I spent too much time down here that I care to admit. I noticed you were living off fish. So I thought I'd solve your food shortage. Enjoy your new clock friends for dinner. <laughs> <sighs> um, the water is there, by the way, because for some reason they like to just hide in the corners and I wanted them to be all over the place. This, this guy's come say hi to you. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, thanks, I out, guess. <laughs> but but look, oh, I've no. got an army of chickens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm causing lag. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 you, yeah, you know what? I was logging on and I was like, why is my frame rate so laggy? <laughs> I, I think I found out why. <laughs> uh, nothing to do with there being 600 entities. Yeah, totally not. Totally not. I mean, I guess, I guess, <laughs> I, I guess I can have target practice with my, with my trident, I guess. Oh yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. And that's I the mean, first time you've clearly used it. Yep. I mean, it's very satisfying. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it, it, it's quite satisfying, actually. But Look of course, the, this. Yeah. Yeah. This. This is great. Boy, you have no idea who you're dealing with. <laughs> to be fair, though, that that did give me a, quite a lot of food, so I'm thankful, actually. Well, that was a generous gift. Now. I gotta kill all these guys. I know I could use TNT and whatnot, but um, this is quicker <laughs> and more sat way more satisfying. So much more satisfying. All right, well, thanks for the chicken. I guess I just need to cook this, and um, yeah, now I just need to 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 fix this water issue. And also, yes, we now have proximity mod on the server, so now we can scare people when people are online. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be fun. All right, all the water has been cleared away, which is perfect, because the next thing on my to-do list is move items and blocks to new storage. Just before we end this episode, I want to make a bulk storage right here with stairs going up to like floors. So what I wanna do is basically have like a four block stair right here. If I mark that out, right? And then I have chests going across, basically like that, going all the way across. And then at the end over here, I'm going to have another stair going up. So I think maybe three or four high, three sounds about right. And then on the next floor, right above that. So say this chest, for example, say this one is cobblestone, right? It fills up and then right above it, that's going to be slabs. And then above that stairs and then above that, fence so that is kind of my idea now i do not have replay mod but i do have another method of doing things so i think this should be a time lapse so let's do that let's let's run a time lapse yeah three two one let's go You know what? I think this is starting to really take shape. So my idea here is to have every kind of stone, so like cobblestone, sm stone, smooth stone, black stone, etc., etc., all the way across, and then above that stairs and slabs, and then above that we can have like fences, pressure plates, and whatnot. I think that is a pretty good idea. And yeah, the place is starting to take shape. I do need to uh, make this prettier, but for now. This is done. I know I said move items and blocks, but I think I'm actually going to do that with a chill stream and hang out with you guys while doing that, because that is going to be a lot of work. So yeah, I'm going to save that for that. <laughs> for now, though, 
I think that is pretty much it for this episode. I know this one was quite long. I'm going to try and make the future ones not as long. But we'll see, it also really depends on what project I will be doing. In the next episode, I think we will be uh, taking down all the old shops and build a new one. That should be fairly quickly. Maybe we're going to spice things up over here. Make, make the roof, make the ceiling, maybe make the floor, maybe make an elevator. I am not quite sure yet um, because someone else and I, we have some plans, So, um, which I can't spill just yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. We, there's, there's secret stuff in the works, so be sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. What was that? That was weird. Um, but of course, we also need to hook up the farms. But I feel like we need a little bit of a break from this. I feel like we need a little bit of a break from this because we've been added in this industrial area for quite a while. We need a little bit of a break. So guys, I really, really hope you have enjoyed. By the way, we have moved into 1.17. Um, so we will be doing stuff with that in the very near future as well. But for now, I'm going to be signing off. Really hope you have enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, because this has taken me quite a while to make. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Check out the other ramblers as well down below in the description. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the video to the right right now. You will probably enjoy it. I suggest you click it. Or you could choose this one YouTube recommends you to the left. Take a pick. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe right above my head. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and <gasps> goodbye.